So right now I'm actually making less money a month on YouTube than I was um, when I was waiting tables at a retirement home, which is pretty crazy. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. David Dobrik is the most successful vlogger since the dawn of time. Nobody in the entire history of mankind was able to compete with him. If vlogging was a sport, he'd be Usain Bolt. He is crushing everyone with insane numbers. I just, I just looked at his vlog channel. Uh, he's popping off like an average of 10 million views per vlog, which I think makes him the most successful vlogger in the history. Person ever. That, that is. That is insane. But recently, David revealed his actual earning from YouTube. Watch and see how scary his income has decreased. I was getting around 60 million views a month, and my check each month um, for that time would be a little over $275,000, which is nuts. And now I'm now I get 200 million views, which is you know more than three times the amount of views I was getting before but now my paycheck is under $2,000, which is crazy. It's crazy, it's a huge difference. He's making a massive mistake in his videos, and I don't know if he's aware of it. David, if you're watching, please stick to the end. I wanna show you how you can easily fix this problem. Also, if you're a fan of his content, I guarantee that by the end of this video, you're gonna change your entire opinion about him. And even if you haven't heard of his name before, there's a lot you can learn from. He's changing the game on every possible level. He recently won People's Choice Award. I mean, from Slovakian Viner to industry definer, Bruh. he's becoming the Keanu Reeves of YouTube. But all of this means nothing if he can't sustain his expenses. So we'll talk about the mistake he's making, but first, you need to understand how David arrived at this point in the first place and why his vlogs might be too hard to fix. If you're a David fan, why do you watch his vlogs? Think seriously. You watch him for the cinematography? Most of his vlogs are handheld cameras. What, you watch him for the insane storytelling? Most of his vlogs are just random chaos. So what is it? What's that special sauce that makes his vlogs so addictive? Everybody has a different answer, but I think the biggest reason why David's vlogs are so successful is community. And my friend, um, Corinna, gives my friend Todd a blowjob in the back seat of my Tesla. Like all while, while it's a full car of people. And like I start recording and it's just like so much fun because it's so real and like everybody's reacting. It's like, it's the best. Where are you finding these friends at David Dobrik? I don't know, I got so lucky. Every friend of mine has like something wrong with them. <laughs> Here's a typical vlog template just to show you how simple his formula is. Step one, a friend exists. Step two, let's go prank him. <laughs> Step three, let's go apologize and give him a car. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh <laughs> Notice how David rarely makes himself the center of attention. Even in the titles, his friends always have the spotlight. He makes you feel like you're a part of a family. Okay, but if it were that easy, everybody would have done it. I could hire some influencer, turn the camera on, act like buddies, and enjoy that sweet money. Where's the catch? You forgot one thing. Your friendship has to be 100% genuine. I, I literally cry from joy when I think about you guys. Oh. Uh, not, not that that it, like, like, well, like, I literally cry from joy that, like, I can't believe all this exists. Yeah, yeah. it is pretty crazy. I said it today to everybody, and everybody told me to shut up. <laughs> 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 Jeff was here, Todd was here, Joe was here, all my favorites, Heath. And I love everybody if I didn't mention their name. And I and I was standing in the middle and I go, guys, how cool is it that we all get to like work together every day and hang out? Like this is incredible. Yeah. And David goes, shut the f up, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take Jake Paul for example. He tried that same formula with Team Tin. Let's hire a bunch of influencers and go film whatever's happening. Easy. The only difference, Team Tin was built around business and nothing else but business. In contrast, the vlog squad has genuine relationships that were built over many years. They started out together, struggled together. It's impossible to fake that synergy between them. Now can you guess which team has crumbled and lost relevancy and which one is getting stronger by the day? That's right, you're smart. But now we're getting to the juicy part. I think every David Stan is secretly jealous of his lifestyle. We all should be. He made a career 
out of having fun with his friends. I mean, that's the biggest jackpot you could ask for. I've hit the lottery with my job. Like, the biggest lottery in the world. Like, yeah, it's insane. We should all be jealous of David's little community. Why? Because chances are, you're the exact opposite. You're getting lonelier each day. Your friends, if you have any, are scattered all around the world. And you haven't talked to your mom since she told you that you're adopted. Now the real problem, society keeps telling us to suck it up and be a big boy individual. But when you think about it, the insane popularity of David Dobrik is the strongest clue that we long for these genuine relationships. But what if I told you that there's an immediate fix for this problem? I have the perfect solution that will erase our crippling loneliness forever. If you're an app developer, this is the billion dollar idea. If somebody can pull it off, it will revolutionize our social lives forever. An app called Friender. Instead of swiping right on pictures, you swipe right on activities. Of course, there are some similar apps like Meetup, but the problem is that it could be intimidating to meet a lot of people at once, and planning takes forever. Maybe I just wanna see the Joker tonight and then have a chat afterwards. Simple. There are already some talks about an app like that, but whoever does it first will change the game forever. Stuff like that like, doesn't bum me out. Like I don't hold grudges because nothing matters. Like nothing, like everything, everything passes. All like feelings towards people just, it, it ends up just evaporating. So there's no point of being mad at this person even in the minute. Like I would never get into a fight with someone. It's the stupidest thing in the world. Yeah. I think the most captivating thing about David is that he's the first guy to make a YouTube career out of being nice. Let me explain what I mean by that. You know that saying, a lot of people build the biggest building in town by tearing other people's building? In every industry, there's a lot of predatory, but the world doesn't have to be like that. David thinks there's a better way to run things. We don't have to live in a zero-sum game all the time, and after watching some of his content, you begin to notice that this guy isn't just building an empire for himself. He's also inviting everyone to the party. Do you realize how not normal it is to give your friend a $300,000 Lamborghini? I sometimes struggle to tip 4 cents to my Uber driver. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I hope he cries like this at our wedding. <laughs> Dave, this is f***ing insane! Oh. This is f***ing crazy, dude! Holy shit, it's a f***ing Lamborghini! <laughs> I guarantee that Heath would not cry like this if he won that Lamborghini in a lottery or something. Those tears didn't come only from the car surprise, but they are the result of years of friendship and going through the ups and downs together, which makes the car surprise much more impactful. Even though the sponsor covers some of the cost, the fact that he thought about this idea in the first place Oh man, especially right now with Susanios demonetizing everything. Did you ever think that you'd just be giving away no. cars to people? <laughs> no, it's so cool. I was just, I was laying in bed the other day. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? It's so exciting. It's the best to give things to people. Like it's the best. It's so much better than receiving anything. It's like, oh my God. Have you noticed recently that the fastest way to grow on YouTube these days is by giving away free stuff? I don't know when and who started this trend, it's the best. I, I cannot, I cannot thank you enough for all the things that you've done for me. Number one, giving me a career, putting food on Hello? my always table. Yeah, no, I'm not busy. <laughs> I'll share a funny story that happened two weeks ago. I was in a long line at the grocery store and the system suddenly crashed down. So the cashiers weren't able to work. After about 10 minutes of waiting, I'll never forget what happened next. A Chad alpha male pops out of nowhere, fuming. Why did the system crash? You people are trash. Let me out of here. I can pay in cash. Now, while he was spitting those bars, you know what I thought? Not in a million years would David do that. If David were here, he would just buy everyone a Tesla and call it a day. There's no point in getting yourself into pointless arguments and ruining your day. I get over things so quickly because I just don't care to be angry because it just doesn't, there's no fucking time for that. Like, who cares? Now, let's step this up. What if he was involved in a car accident? He mentioned before that one time he got into a car accident with a lady, but unlike most people, David didn't road rage or scream. He just made sure the other person was okay and continued driving. 
like my car's been hit before. Like yeah. I've been on a highway and I get hit, and I tell the woman to pull over because it's like a normal thing to do. And then I just get out. I'm like, are you are you good? Uh huh. She's like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm like, okay, I'll see you later. Like I know I have the money to fix my car. This yeah. woman just hit me and her, you know. 2002 Toyota Corolla like I'm not gonna fucking put her through a hard time just because she made an accident sure. and it's like it's over it's done no one oh. got hurt like there's no point of me being angry now this is the part you've been waiting for why David is losing all of his YouTube money and how can he fix it as we've seen most of his vlogs nowadays don't have that much inappropriate stuff and even if they did this is the most extreme example of demonetization ever. So there has to be something else. See this picture for example. This was from a recent vlog where he puts Mentos in Natalie's mouth. Now the scary thing is, Googlebot interpreted this as violent and adult content. Even worse, the bot was 92% sure that this was childbirth. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? David content is filled with countless examples like this. And as we've seen, his style of content is very unique and chaotic. You know, I could change my videos and make them more like age appropriate and cut out the music, but then it's just gonna lose like the video quality and why the videos are mine. So the only fix is to carefully analyze each scene and make sure Susanios is not angry. We've made an entire video on this. It explains the process in simple terms, and it was the most liked video on this channel. So I'll leave a link if you wanna watch it. When I pull up to people and they were driving like Lamborghinis, I'd always ask them like, what do you do? And they would always go, work hard. Yeah. And I was always like, what the f does that mean? I wanna work hard, but what do I do? And then I started this thing, yeah. and I was so excited because I finally had something to work hard for, and I finally had purpose. There's no better feeling in the world than working on something you love. But like David said, if you wanna be successful, you gotta know what you like first. So you have to work on different projects and develop your skills until you find the thing you love. And that's where Skillshare comes in. With thousands of classes covering everything, film, cinematography, creative writing, graphic design, Skillshare has it all. Wanna learn how to make a sick animation like this? Skillshare got you covered. I recommend starting with Mastering Illustrator. This course taught me the essential illustrator tips that I still use till this day, like creating shadows and giving depth to your design. A premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes and it's incredibly affordable. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. And if you click the link in the description, you can get two months for free to try it out. If it weren't for Skillshare, my animation level would not be the same. So thanks to them for sponsoring this video and please, Click the link and build your skills now.